Today's tip is to make sure you know the rules of the venue prior to visiting the venue with your client. So a couple years ago, a bride had wanted this enchanted forest look at a public park, and I'd never done anything there before. In fact, I'd never even worked at a public park before. So I did a site visit with her prior to contacting the Parks and Recreation Department to understand what the rules were. We just went out there for a site visit and I was sketching away, dreaming up all these things for her. And she loved it. She was super excited. I had the florist, I had the lighting designer, the drapery designer, the prop designer. We were all there dreaming up this great enchanted forest look for her. And we all start working on it. And then I get an email from the Parks and Recreations manager asking me to sign something that I was aware of the rules. And the rules went something like this. It might as well just said in red, you can't do anything that you just sold to your client for an idea. That's not what it said. But you couldn't have a tent, you couldn't have chairs, you couldn't have furniture. Pretty much couldn't do anything except have bodies there watching them get married which it was a beautiful backdrop with these beautiful stone steps surrounded by trees. Again, remember public park, that's key. So I called the manager of the Parks and Recreation asking them for special permission and they don't mess around. They're, it's, it's the law, the law is the law of the Parks and Recreation. They're not gonna change it for a wedding. They're not gonna change it for anything. Nothing can be staked in the ground. So unfortunately, I looked like an idiot, I felt like, and I had to go back and tell the Brad that I'm so sorry, but everything we had talked about couldn't be done. We could do some of the floral ideas to bring some of the whites out because it was very green and lush already. And I did tell her that the parks manager advised me to hire security. He said on every Saturday, those beautiful stone steps, people run up and down if the weather's great. So you don't want all these people running during your ceremony. And I thought to myself, certainly people are gonna be respectful of the ceremony area when a bride and groom are getting married. I know they may be a little nosy and excited and wanna stop and take pictures, but I never dreamed that people were so rude. And thank goodness I did have two security guards there because the day of the wedding, the weather was phenomenal. And there were literally a thousand plus people running up and down the stone steps. And had I not had security there to let people know that there was a private event, it literally took them about a good hour to clear the area to get our ceremony guest up there. And not only that, but cars could not pull up where the bride and groom wanted to get married. So we did charter buses that were able to turn around in the tight area, drop guests off, and they had to hike up a hill pretty much. So I wish that we had told the guests on the invitation or on the website or some way that, hey, by the way, you're gonna be hiking up a hill, so don't wear heels, and it is outdoors in the middle of summer, it's gonna be hot. So I had people sweating, I didn't have water, it was just kind of a little bit of a nightmare. So again, make sure that you're familiar with the venue for your client before you sell them this great idea, before you have all the vendors quoting things out, really sit there and think through the logistics of everything because it can have a much better outcome if you know the right questions to ask. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, AngelaProfit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.